Okay, so I'm just pulling into Cargerfield. If you don't know, it's just on the west side of Edinburgh um, towards Cramond, and this is the entry into the school here. Okay, so I've just parked up and walked from the car park, and I'm moving, walking towards the front entrance and that's the front door there. Okay, so I'm just starting my tour and I'm here with the headmaster's wife, Sarah Taylor. Thank you very much for touring me. So um, whereabouts are we now? So we're just in the pre-prep and we're about to head into our nursery, which is from three to five year old. Right, so we're at the um, door of the garden to the nursery and what, what's this, what's these areas? So we have different areas in the nursery garden. There's a construction area here. There's a water play area, sand pit, a playhouse. We've got a little mini theater. Oh yeah. A music area. <laughs> There's a mud kitchen between the two sheds there. Oh yeah. We have all sorts of tricycles and scooters that the children can... Well, I'm just here with the head of nursery, uh, Jan Harbour. Um, these are different areas you've got in the nursery. What, for example, is this area here? So this is our home corner, which is a literacy and numeracy rich environment for the children to build their literacy and also their speech and language development as they interact together. Uh, So this is our quiet uh, room area where we gather in the morning to have good morning time, but we also gather at the end of the day to um, discuss the learning. So here we are in one of the P1 classrooms. And how many P1 classrooms do you have? We have two classes per year group. Okay. Uh, and in this class we have 14 children, uh, but our maximum would only ever be in each class. Oh, so what's this library? Uh, so the pre-prep have their own uh, little library that the children can go and borrow books. Oh, who are the pre-prep again then? It's the nursery, P1, P2 and P3. Okay, and then... And they also have their own... So we've just left our pre-prep and our pre-prep finishes at primary three when they are seven turning eight years old. And then they move up to what we call form four in the upper school. Um, and then dedicated... Uh, sports hall. Oh wow. So they'll come in here for assemblies in the morning but also is used for things like fencing and judo club and little sports clubs that they have. So we've just left our pre-prep and our pre-prep finishes at primary three when they are seven turning eight years old and then they move up to what we call form four in the upper school um, and then this is our sports hall. Uh, we have specialist teachers which teach all the way from primary one up to form eight at 13 years old. So here we are in our music school. We have the different specialist teachers teaching all the individual instruments. And at the end we have our one big music room where our head of music teaches nursery all the way through the school up uh, form eight. Okay, this is our new AstroTurf, which the children are allowed to play in at break time. Our break time in the upper school uh, is up to 50 minutes, so the children are allowed to do whatever they like. They're, they can play sports, they can go to the music room, they can do uh, all sorts of different clubs are on offer at break time in the middle of the day. Uh, this is our art room, which again, the children can come and use at break time. And uh, we have our two potter's wheels and sculpting room, which the children can enjoy great time and in lessons. This is our school chapel where the whole school can meet and have an assembly and it also doubles up as our theatre. So here we are in the dining hall, who eats in here? So the whole school, so nursery up to form eight will eat in, in the dining room. Uh, the food is freshly prepared on site. Okay, and um, so obviously they're making lunch you yeah. to have breakfast and supper do you? Who yes. has so, if you're staying for a club uh -huh. uh, for six o'clock when school finishes, you can stay for supper and join in our numerous number of clubs, and then you can be picked up at eight o'clock. So, end up boarding and stay the night as well. So, this is our form five form room, but at this stage, they are also moving off to different subjects in different classrooms. So this is one of our girls' dormitories. Okay, so are they all, is it all full boarding? Or? Um, no, we have a few weekly boarders, but also with that we have several flexi boarders, so they can stay one night, two nights, three nights or four. Uh, this is our school library, which always has a fire going. 
It's a nice place for the children to read books, play chair. This is a, another relaxing area, particularly for our Form 4 children um, who have their Form classrooms here. So it's a nice place to sit and read their books. Right, so I'm here with the Headmaster Rob Taylor. Um, I'd just like to ask you, what would you say makes uh, Cargafield unique? Well, I think what, what makes us distinctive is that for certainly for our older children we okay. have a very um, which allows us to have sport every day long morning breaks with lots of clubs and activities probably unlike any other school we don't have homework for our older children so it gives them an evening to run clubs and activities and give them a really broad education rather than spending more time just on work Okay, so another question I've been asking Scott is what is the ethos? What would you say the ethos of Cargafield is? Um, well, I, I would say to you, do us the children. And I hope what the children would say, three Absolutely. golden rules at Cargafield, and those are be kind, be kind. You can probably guess the third one. And I hope that's distinctive and our ethos. Okay, just leaving Cargafield, just had a fabulous tour, a really, really lovely school. Um, I just thought I didn't get the um, rugby pitch here in the area down there that apparently they build dens and what have you, so that's my tour, I'm just about to get into.